Did you know that the first EMT and paramedic service here in the United States was run almost entirely by black people? Before the 1960s, if you were having a medical emergency, either the police or somebody from a funeral home would come pick you up and take you to the hospital. In transit, their goal was to not help stabilize you on the way to the hospital, but merely just to get you to the hospital as quick as possible. From this, the Freedom House Ambulance Service was born, and it was staffed entirely by black paramedics. The paramedics were not interested in just helping the black community, they were willing to help anybody of any race. But unfortunately, they were often denied access into wealthy white neighborhoods because even though it was well known that they were doing a better job at saving lives than the police, people would rather take white police over a black paramedic. Despite being wildly successful, the program only ran from 1967 to 1975, where the city then cut it due to budget reasons. But shortly after that, the city of Pittsburgh did start their own program that was staffed almost entirely by white people, and the black people who had years of experience above them were forced to retrain just to enter the program, and most of them weren't allowed in. 